and we are back once again and it's the quarterfinals match of the Hexi Guild versus Guild Ramones Tournament Season 1. My name is Jill Storm. And wow, uh, check it out. So right now, uh, we do have a lot of, um, a little bit of changes um, on, on, the ray, on the way right now for, for our Twitch. So uh, everyone, um, if you're not in Twitch right now, but I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it has to be in twitch.tv slash gaijinzan. And you can see our pictures right there. So that's me, Chillstorm. And you see gaijinzan. What kind of pick is that, Gaij? Help me. <laughs> I, li I like it. I like it. I like it. Mine, it's, that's my, my, my I, got, I got hair kind of look because I'm, I'm usually... Um, I usually shave my, my, my hair, but wow, <laughs> look at you. you. You look so formal, guys. I, I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. So um, right now, <laughs> right, so let, let's, let's show up uh, the, the bracket on the screen right now. Um, so, so, so currently, let's, you know, uh, having, having a, a quick recap of what, what transpired last time. So it was a good um, elimination round. Um, you know, let's, let's show up on the, the bracket on screen. There we go. So uh, before we had, um, I believe, Illuminate and Darkness. However, Darkness has to be um, disqualified. Uh, they, they, they were fighting for the 16th, um, 16th seat. And then Illuminate has to go against uh, Chaos Legion. And Chaos Legion got it. And then also um, War Wardens also stepped up. So they're up against Chaos Legion. Um, and also we have uh, Gambit moving forward. Um, also Lost Command. So, however, um, I would like to announce as early as now, uh, Gambit got disqualified um, because it's again it's a guild versus guild. Um, so, uh, so, so right. I'm sorry. Yeah, Wardens. Because um, someone says to go Wonders. It's Wardens so, <laughs> on on Twitch right now. So, so, so someone saying go Wonders. It's oh, it's Cell Summer. Uh, but anyway. Um, Right now, we have uh, Gambit versus Lost Command. However, Lost Command needs to auto-advance because Gambit got disqualified, uh, unfortunately, because Sh uh, Shino X... Um... Yes, um, so basically, uh, was, uh, it's now on uh, GBN. However, the, I, be I believe the real Shino X is in Gambit, so on a different account. But uh, according to our rules, um, of course, in, since it's a guild versus guild, and we can't do a switch up as well, um, you know, doing substitution on on because uh, technically that will be a substitution, and we can't we can't have that allowed. So um, unfortunately, um, we had to disqualify Gambit and Lost Command um, would auto advance for the semifinals a finals match next week. Now. Uh, we also have, of course, Public Enemy Advancing, and also Kalis, um, and also we have Illuminate and Alaka Ajakan. Um, they auto-advanced last week uh, because Rang Minyad uh, was not able to show up during the, the match. Uh, th that was a five-minute penalty, so they got auto-disqualified. So we haven't seen Alaka Ajakan play, um, you know, giving, giving that they have the top players um, in their uh, guild right now. So really looking forward to it. Actually... Uh, they are going to be our first match. So I believe uh, they are already in the room right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce them. So we have currently we have Illuminate right now on the left side. Um, so we have uh, Bezelheim as a Titan. Ex Democritus, another Titan as well, uh, double Titan. And we have BDZE. Um, as their raven. So um, during the, the elimination round, um, you, their place about, you know, bout for bout battles. So they, they really go on to two versus two, one versus one, three on three, had on clashes. Um, so they're, they're really dominating in that area. And that's what I like about Illuminate. Um, and with Adaka Ajakan, we don't have any idea yet. We haven't seen them play for the Hexe Guild versus Guild tournament. Yes, so this is also going to be interesting because they have they also have two titans um, with them, um, having Anakpasar and Tepemp OLGG as their titans, and we also have Raisin Pro as their huntress. So that's the only difference: Raven on the other side, huntress on on Adokajakan. But uh, we will see. Um, it's very interesting how um, this one will turn out. So um, let's go ahead and start the battle: Illuminate versus Adokajakan. For the quarterfinals. <laughs> Round one. 
<laughs> yeah, try, 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 trying to be tech in there, huh? So, <laughs> so this Hexic Guild versus Guild Romanus tournament is brought to you and sponsored by Chaos Legion and Hexa Sanctuary, and of course, we would like to thank Gaijin Sun for initiating this tournament, my co-host currently, and we would also like to thank, <laughs> and we would also like to thank Jay Kimmy in the background for helping us out coordinate this whole event. Um, right now. I would like to uh, like everyone to know that Jay Kimmy lost her voice today, still finding its way back. That's why I, I had to have uh, Gai Jin Sun do the co-host this time. But don't worry, Jay Kimmy will be back next week for the semifinals finals round. But you can definitely interact with her through Twitch if you would like to. Oh, so Jay Kimmy twenty nine saying I due to concert. She had a concert. <laughs> what? What are you, Regi what are you, Regine Velasquez or something? Yeah, then you would sing. You would have to sing for the finals. You 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 say it. You if you spray it, you do it. Okay. Yeah. You you don't you don't you don't you don't just say that you had a concert. You have to um, prove to us that you did. But anyway, let's go go back to the gameplay. So right now, um, very very interesting. Uh, so Anak Pasar, uh, Raisin Pro, and Tempest all uh, GG uh, for um for for their guilds. They were able to get the dominating um. Uh, class on the first, so giving them 4128 on points right now. They're very low on life, but look at them. They are looking for the orbs, not going for any clashes this time. Anakos are really going, um, going rounds and rounds, um, looking for possible orbs, but missed that one out. Um, just passed by an amplifier right there, and Raisin Pro got it. So Raisin Pro on full life, um, two of them on Amplify. So this is going to be interesting. Um, let's see how this one plays out. Um, if Illuminate will go for the head-on clash with with them having Amplify, or will they run away from it? And they did run away from it. They were able to um, get away with that. But Bezelheim got down um, from from the the little uh, gank right there. So yeah, we Democritus got the lightning currently. But uh, will Democritus be able to at least get some down, but not able to? But we have Tepep OLGG um, down with life, but getting the heal over there. But this time we have Raisin Pro and Anakpasar. Um, they're basically backing things out for them. Democritus, another lightning. Wow. It's kind of like a birthday for Democritus right now. Getting, all, getting the lightning um, after lighting and was able to take Raisin Pro down. Now 42-44. The game is now close. Who, who would have thought? You know, the, with the top CPs for um, Adaka Jakan, but now it's 39-49 because Bezelheim got down um, with that gank over there. There's another lighting coming in, coming from BDEZE. -E. I'm sorry, BDZE. -E. Yes. Right. Yes. So old GG is down, reviving currently. Got Raisin Pro iced over there. So getting the getting the amplifier right now for Raisin Pro. Let's see how this one goes. Having the most high points right now. They go for the Lagos with an Amplify. Taking advantage of that buff. That's a good strategy. But we got one second left. And Lagos not defeated. So they're trying to seal the victory with kind of like a three-point play. At the final, um, at the final seconds of that, but Ryzen Pro, uh, Tepemp, and Anakpasar got it for Adaka Jakan. So 65-35, game one for them. So this is actually best of five this time, um, since it's the quarterfinals match. So we still have a lot of room for improvement, a lot of room to change strategies, especially for Illuminate. Um, they were able to get at least um, close in terms of the, the points right there. So not really far off in terms of, of game playing strategy. And then I, I really like how Illuminate plays, that they adjust into things as early as game number one. So without further ado, let's start with game number two. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I believe we have a Tekken player, so let's go ahead. <laughs> they, they might hire you for, for, for Tekken 8. Or so. <laughs> oh man, you got a guy, guy Jin san our co-host right now. And Kanoban, 
Keno Benny 2 saying Sar Sardens number one. Sardens. Who's who? Sardens. Oh, yeah. Wardens. Are you talking about Wardens? <laughs> yes, yes. J Kim is going to best of five this time. You can also go to Hex Sanctuary to uh, to to chat with us uh, through the Romanus chat, um, to, so you can cheer for your team. Uh, you know, do your comments and uh, to tell them if you have like any strategies you want to share. We we can share it to the um, to the whole Twitch, YouTube, and um, and share it to the community. If you have good ideas over there. So B D Z E um, currently has the lightning. Or so Bezelheim got the lightning, sorry. But BDZ got down in there. Okay, so uh, the, the, the way that they're actually playing, they're, they're actually going around uh, getting the orbs currently. And um, as they get the orbs, that's the time that they actually move. Pretty smart play coming from both teams actually. So they, they're actually on, on, on a, like a hit and run. Um, kind of way of strategy this time, but uh, they're now they're currently having a clash. There we go. Um, gank, ganking on uh, Democritus, um, with an officer and Tepem, and wow, two titans all over you. That's that's gonna be hard. Um, it's like you know getting your own roller coaster ride over there. So 24:55, um, they're doing a good gameplay for Ana for Adaka Japan. Doing ganks here and there, um, trying to to catch those um, orb killers one at a time. So now um, we have uh, BDZE um, go going for an Aquasar this time on the side, one on one, but the BDZ on the hiding. And currently Bezelheim um, also looking for orbs, so going for the heal. There we go. But however, an Aquasar was able to get it. Um, so, not looking good. And Tepem got the salvation, so not looking good um, in terms of how things are turning out right now for Illuminate. And they're now going for Lagos. It's almost defeated at this time. And wow, BDZE got it. Was able to steal G given the situation. So they still have a fighting stance. 63-65 right now with 37 seconds left. Wow, this is turning out. Good for them. 6 to 6, 6 to 8. Everything is really coming close. Anakpasar is very down with life currently. Very low. If they're able to get Anakpasar, they should be able to seal the deal for Illuminate. But the fight is very close. Very, very close. But BDZE getting down there. Oh, killed over there. Democritus also down. Anakpasar got the lightning. It was close. Now, now they have doubled the points, so they have they're now sealing the deal. Wow, that that was that was <laughs> yes, and that was intense because you know Anakusar is down in life, but um, Raisin Pro and Tepem step up in there, uh, try to protect Anakusar, try to um, kill, uh, do the kills if if they can, and they were able to seal the deal right there. So two zero for um, uh, Ajaka Ajakan. Um, so, wow, wow, good gameplay. Uh, Denizi saying hi, Chillstorm. Hello, Denizi. Yes. Um, so, so we got you got questions from from Sean uh, uh, um, in Twitch right now. Um, so we got Gaijin San and me, Chillstorm, doing the casting. And yes, um, Jay Kimmy had a concert, so she she lost her voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. So, um, yes. Pugepek to saying hayad lang malakas. Wow. Um, <laughs> so Josh, Josh Q twenty six saying Guy Jinsan and Chillstorm. I'm still looking for people to carry me. Shout out, shout me out for my bros. Okay, carry. No, no problem. You you got a lot of uh, ch champ. Ch <laughs> right. Yeah, even even the participants are you know willing to uh, play with you guys in Hex Sanctuary. Um, we got Elithia, even the organizing sponsors like Cine, um, you know, playing in the Hex Sanctuary Discord. You can log in. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, shaky swine. Yes, that's shaky swine. <laughs> and you know what? Shaky swine um, got to the top because uh, I had a shout out with shaky swine last time. And now, now he's part of the top. In the... <laughs> yes. I influence saying salamat shapi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Alright, so waiting for, for the place to get ready for Illuminate. Uh, uh, Illuminate, this is going to be a best of best of five. Um, so you still have, um, you know, we still have games left. You still got a chance. You can still 3-2 this if you would like. Come on, let's do this. Man, it, yes, I mean, it, it, it was almost there. Like, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Right, right, right. True, true. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it, it's really nice. I really, I really like the way that uh, they're doing the, the smart play. Um, um, regardless of, you know, um, basically having an advantage on CP, they are still doing that... Um, so uh, strategic wise in terms of the gameplay, uh, knowing that of course uh, because of the uh, June seventeen update, the, the balancing of the Rabanus, you know, equalizing all the CPs together, still being smart about it. So right now, I believe we have uh, a disconnect uh, currently um, on our room right now. So waiting for Illuminate to come in, um, maybe by seven twenty. Uh, that'll be our deadline for Illuminate. Um, but uh, so if, 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 if they're not ready by 720, I uh, believe uh, Adakaja Khan would have to auto advance. Um, so uh, trying to invite back um, Dazelheim, I'm um, sorry, uh, BDZE, right, for, for Illuminate. But it, was, it was a good game. It was a good game. Um, you know, game one and two. It was really uh, exciting. All, all, all the way to the finish. Right, right, right. So it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's a matter of who seals the deal at the very end, you know? But uh, right, right, right before, um, right before, you know, the, the rank up of the points, um, it's, it's anyone's ball game from, from then on. Yeah. So yeah, um, and by the way, um, we we also have the Discord uh, server. So uh, Hexa Sanctuary, you can uh, chat in the Romanus chat, um, so that uh, we can also see and check uh, your participation. Um, yeah, and then all the participants are also ready, um, coming up for later. So after this match, so there we go. BDZ is in the house. So we're just waiting for Bezelheim to to get ready. There you go. And I would like to salute Bezelheim right now. Um, uh, he actually logged out for a bit because he's currently at work. <laughs> so, you know, try, try. Like, work, work, life, play, balance. You know, you know what they say? Work hard, play harder. Bezelheim's ready and we are ready. So this is game number three. Wow, a, a salute. A salute to the gate. You are the hero of the gaming community, Bezelheim, for playing while at work. <laughs> All right. So, Tepem in the hiding right now. They're preparing. Ryzen Pro as well. They have their own bushes. Ra yeah, Ryzen Pro. Yeah, tanking. Ryzen Pro tanking while Tepem and Anakos are hiding. So, that's. Uh, but that that kind of like worked out for them a bit. So, Bezelheim is down with almost. There we go. There, Bezelheim is down with that clash. So. Let's see now, Democritus is go going for orbs, um, going for the points still, um, just to keep uh, up for Illuminate right now. But he was down in their spawn area. Um, they, Tepem was able to get that. Um, so, currently, wow, Tepem uh, going for a double clear there. Uh, there's a lightning in play. Who's gonna get it? So it's Anakpasar getting the lightning and looking for victims currently. And they, they also have the Salvation as well. So not that they need it, um, basically, basically just for the points since everyone has their life and the HP all up right now. 
So now they're going for for the players. So it's it's really still a hit and run, going for the orbs, going for the advantage before you actually go for the clash. Um, so this time there's another lightning in play and also an amplify. So Democritus just got it. Bezelheim got the amplify. Um, and Aquasar is down with that. Um, so wow, 39, 38 right now. So this is how the game this is how the game goes. Go for the orb, go for the gameplay, go for the go for the clash. And I think this is a smart move. And this is how um, you know most um, with with a high rate win or Ramones. This is actually how they do their gameplay um, instead of you know go, going for the head on clash. Right. Right. Right, right, right. So it's really high scoring game. And you know, sometimes if you really actually um, destroy all the orbs uh, eventually along the way, um, it, it's going to be anyone's ball game because you know there, there will be instances where in one player would have so much points uh, racked up, and if you kill that player, you know it will be a lopsided game, um, uh, and it's going towards your favor. So still fifty six thirty nine currently, and they're now going wearing down Lagos very early right now. So um, we have uh, Adakaja Khan in the middle going after it and I think Illuminate is going for the steal being on the sides right now waiting for the perfect timing and it's all about the last hit anime it's not how 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 much damage you go for the Lagos so there everyone's at it there we go 6866 six, six. there we go Democritus got it 6874 um, they still have the upper hand for Adaka Jakan, but they are going for you know maybe going for those kills 20 seconds left But Bezelheim has an, um, an Amplify currently, so we'll see how this one works. Check this out. Bezelheim on, on the move right now. Down on life, tap and, and I, an Aquasar. <gasps> hey, there we go, 8272. They were able to get an Aquasar down. And they got the win. And they got the win. Check that out, Illuminate. Going for that steal, going for the, the final kill on the final five seconds. Wow, wow, on Adakaja Khan, wow, this is getting, talk about cam comeback, yes, uh, they just need two more of that, they just need two more of that, and they, they, they might be able to seal the deal in the win, let's go ahead and get, get it all ready, and we're excited for game number four, so it's a 2-1, and um, for Adakaja Khan, they only need one win uh, to seal the deal in advance, so here we go. I like this one. Eliminate not giving up. Currently Bezelheim on work. <laughs> but hey, gotta take a break sometime. <laughs> so here we go. Let's focus on Bezelheim this time. Let's see how, how the strategy goes. So right now, um, currently, uh, Raven Pro and Anakus are going after Bezelheim. Very aggressive this time. I think they're changing their gameplay to a more aggressive move. They want to seal the deal early. There you go. Look at that. Um, Raisin Pro got Lightning for Democritus. Raisin Pro got an Amplify. So the Lightning is coming into play because Tempem OLGG got a little bit of damage there but was able to get out of it. Uh, but then Raisin Pro still has Amplify. So um, Raisin Pro is going to do some, some, some more damage in there. But they're trying to get away. Smart move. Uh, but BDZ, BDZE was down with that. Democritus... Um, Still trying to get away from Raisin Pro. Getting a, a bit of a damage in there. Still going for the runaway, which is a smart move because you need to wait for your teammates before you, you know, go for a gank or head on to a clash. So Bezalheim trying to protect, but got down with um, an Aquasar, um, the double the double Titan combo there. Um, now Democritus was cornered, so also um, got killed on that side. BDZ in the hiding, which is a smart move. Uh, because you need to wait for your teammates before going after uh, your enemies. So this time, everyone's almost uh, full on life. Um, Tepem OLGG and Anakus are almost half on life, but Raisin Pro now has an Amplify again. It's like Raisin Pro um, has uh, Amplify as a best friend this whole match and putting it into gameplay. And now Raisin Pro has the Lightning and they also have uh, Salvation with them. So they are getting the kills currently. 
um, getting the points as well. Yes, definitely. They're now going for um, sealing the deal. But still, um, Illuminate um, fighting for it. Look, 40, 40 and 47. 40 and 49 right now. So, wow, still a close fight, even, even with the aggressive gameplay of Adakaja Khan. And now look at that. Illuminate up by three points. Getting Anak Pasar even. Yes, almost a one one fifth of life there. So looking for orbs. So they kind of like left out Tepem old GG there, but uh, Tepem uh, has the moves. Uh, no scratches for him from him currently. And wow, and Democritus got it. Democritus got it. There we go. 54, 57, 47. Right, right. I think they got Raisin Pro Lockdown and um, right now uh, Lagos under 15 life, 21 seconds, 20 seconds to go. Still, um, it could be a Lagos game, it could be a, a Lagos. 60-50. Just like that, building up on points for, for Illuminate. Look at that. They got Frozen. They're going after BDZE, who has the highest points right now. Oh, BDZE got down in there. There, oh my god, that last kill, that last kill sealed the deal for them. If only BDZ was able to get away from that, they could, it, it could have been a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, um, wow, nice game. That final, final second, and Adakaja Khan was able to seal the deal, advancing on to the semifinals, finals match. But still, wow, congratulations to, um, to Illuminate, Bezelheim, BDZE, and Democritus for putting up such a good gameplay for, for all of the games right now. Wow. Yes, Justin, Donato, wow, nice fight. And Ray289, Raisin Pro number one. Wow, <laughs> yes, yes, Pugapecto, that is correct. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Frozen is the traitor. It was, it was, <laughs> it was. Wow. Check that out, check that out. Um, what a gameplay, what a gameplay. Huh. So there we go. Um, we have um, Adaka Jakan advancing. So this time they will be waiting for Public Enemy and Kalos uh, for the semifinals finals match next week, which will still happen again. Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, GMT plus 8, and that'll be on the 1st of July. Right, uh, yes, <laughs> Beast for an 8K CP, correct, for uh, Pugapekta saying on, on Twitch right now. Wow, it, it, was a, it was a really good gameplay. Yeah, um, next up, uh, so we do have um, Kalos and Public Enemy currently. So we're just uh, waiting for them to get inside the, the room. So right now, um, I have to say Public Enemy um you know back in back in the back in back in the game uh for the elimination round so it was Ilithia uh as a void knight we have Navier as your titan and Abahusi our season two uh champion for Asia yes our pro our pro huntress coming in for the Hexic Guild versus Guild Romanus tournament and basically with the gameplay straightforward rush it's kind of like the the, the game that um Adaka Japan did on on their on their on their final match very straightforward it's going to they're going to hit like hit hit on you like a bus and that's how they they do it basically and then for Kalis, uh it's a high point gainer um kind of gameplay they go for the orbs they go for the kills they go they go for the monuments they go for the lagos they they wear it down they steal it so Kale is really uh smart about that kind of strategy so it's a high point gaining um uh, Guild, high point gaining team. So let's see uh, how this one will combine all together in, in one single single matchup for for both Public Enemy and Kalis. And everyone's really interested in how how this one will turn out for for both of the guilds. And right now, um, currently we have uh, Vin Boozled, um, uh, Bibonians, uh, Bibun Vin Boozled as your Huntress, uh, Bibonians as your Raven, and Zwider as your uh, gladiator. So yeah, uh, Vin Boozled, um, making me hungry with a. It's, it's kind of <laughs> you know the Vin Boozled, the the different flavored, <laughs> um, 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 you know treat, not not knowing if if, if 
<laughs> so 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 we'll see how how this one will turn out for them and um, how, how the high point gaining game um, and and the and and public enemy going for kill after kill and also uh, El- Elithia, um Elithia Park John um, is actually uh, for for the whole week um, almost a whole week uh, been doing Ramanis um, in in Hexa Sanctuary yes gr- grinding in the Ramanis and then um, you know. I've also been playing with Elithia currently, actually, and the the gameplay of Elithia is just um, not. It's going. It's really you know higher than at par with every every single Void Knight in in the server, or maybe in in the region or the whole wide world, uh, because the way that Elithia plays uh, the orbs, plays plays everything using the Dark Mist uh, very efficiently. It's just off the bat. Um, and wow, uh, it's just really pretty impressive, and we will see that definitely in, in the gameplay. And with Navir as your titan and Abahusi as as, as your huntress um, for public enemy, then you know um, that that could be really I have to say intimidating um, in terms of the the play style. But of course, uh, Zwider, um, your your very adept gladiator, and Bibanya's sister Raven, and Vin Boozled coming in, they 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 won't back down. Um, they, they, they will fight for, for the gameplay. So getting ready for all the teams. So here we are. Public Enemy versus Kalos. Everyone's excited about. Yes, oh my god, yes. Justin Donato, that Titan height. <laughs> yes, it's, it's off the screen. It's off the screen right now. Yes. <laughs> Only getting half of the face. Uh, yes. Uh, Shaky Schwein saying, Elithia is a grinding buddy. He is a beast. That is true. That is true. Okay, there you go. There you are. They're already clashing right now in the middle. Look at that. Not wasting any single second. So just like what I said before, they, now, now their clash is a little dispersed. They're going for a 2v2, 1v1 here. So, but still clashing. Still at each other. Now the orbs are coming out. Who's, who's going to get them? Elithia, as expected, going for the heals. Um, going for the or the orbs, so Vin Boozled and Bibonians down with that clash. Zwider would have um, would have life, but uh, Zwider has the lightning, trying to um, catch up on public enemy, but was not able to get any kills right there. So now that um, now that Zwider, uh, Vin Boozled and Bibonians revived, there they have the upper hand in turning the g- gameplay around. So we got a lot of lightning coming in, and that's from Vin Boozled. And they are doing the coordination. However, a public enemy was ev- uh, was able to get away from it, and the uh, lightning is already out. So Zwider was down with that uh, clash. And right now, Vin Boozled at the back. Bibonis is also down. So Vin Boozled waiting for the teammate, which is a good strategy, um, and going for for orbs for the points there. Not needed for the heal really, but all for the points. Now they are going. St- Right, but Zwider came in there too too early and was was down with um, with Abahusi, Navier, and Elithia all together in one spot. So Elithia having most uh, points right now. Um, there you go. See, going orb after orb, and look at that. Now going for the lightning. So look at that. In a span of 1.5 seconds, Elithia was able to get two orbs, and now going back in the gameplay with the lightning, trying to intimidate um, uh, Kalis with uh, with the gameplay right now. Got a little bit of damage over there. Now going for Vin Boozled. So see how Elithia is moving all around the map. See? And right now, they are trying to wear down Lagos very early currently. So 9 points for from, from Lagos. 8 HP right now. And look at that. Um, so the Zwider is down. Navir with a little life. And still fighting. And Lagos about to go down. For life on Lagos right now. Who's gonna go for it? Who, who's gonna get it? They got it. Vin Boozle got it. Giving them upper hand. Giving them more points right now. Elithia, yes, Elithia got the, the salvation. Was almost dead uh, with that. So n- right now, um, at this point, 30 seconds left. They have to go for Elithia. And Elithia is just really running around with the Dark Mist. Going orb after orb. Hiding in the bushes. And... I don't know if they'll be able to get Elithia at this time, but man, basically Elithia is really moving around. And they're going after Elithia. See, another lightning from Elithia with 10 seconds to go. 71-79 right now. 
still a close game. But then Vin Boozled and Zwider was down there, so it was really close. It was really close. Very close game. Very close game. But wow, look at that. Um, Public Enemy with Elithia with 50 points, Navi with 41. Um, I think we know where this one should go. Um, they, they would they would need to uh, corner Elithia. They, they, they would need to put them, um, you know, um, Elithia with, with Elithia's back against the wall. Um, wow, I, I, I was kicked in the room. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you bite me? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. That, <laughs> uh, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, so right now um, they, they they need to they, they need to go for um, Elithia, um, and at the same time uh, try to um, put, put put Navior and Abahusi uh, in the background, which is really hard to do, I have to say. Um, but but still, um, you, um, you know, impossible is nothing really. So they, they really have to um, go for that kind of gameplay. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like Alithia being in a black spirit mode. So being invulnerable, I have to say really, um, the Dark Mist is, I have to say, Imba right now. Um, with, e e even though that it's a limited time, it's, it's, it's still, it's still... Um, true, I have to agree with that. Um, and and you can actually spawn whenever you want to at, at the same time. So and then plus the fact that um, when when the the VK has their flash step, um, it's it's really fast and their distance is also longer this time. So the the adjust uh, the adjustments that they had for for the VK is just uh, uh, I have to say pretty much in balance really. Um, right now there we go Navior Lilithia and Abahusi for public enemy. Then Boozled, Bibonians, Zwider for Kalis. So let's see how this one goes. So we're just waiting for Abahusi uh, to, to get on ready. And we are about to start uh, the gameplay. So right now, yes, Abahusi, our Season 2 champion. I mean, like, simply just going for Abahusi. I mean, it's, it's a feat, right? All right, there we go. We are about to start the match. Game number two. <laughs> Round two. All right, so they're having a clash. Um, wow, uh, it scale is right now going forward. Going aggressive. They're like, hey, if they're gonna go after us, we're gonna go after them first. I like this gameplay right now um, coming from Kalis. And they got Ilzi, uh, Lithia down. And also Abahusi. But Abahusi was able to get the lightning. Um, and uh, Vin Boozled um, able to get the salvation. And also for Bibonians having the Amplify. Let's see how this one turns out for Bibonians. Um, think uh, going for Abahusi. There we go, going after the target. But the ice. That's gonna cost us time, and we have wear, wore down the um, the the amplify. Now Lithia has an amplify currently, and now he's he's going after the kills currently, knowing that Lithia has the advantage. Check that out. Got Vin uh, Boozle down. Now going after Bibonians with with the flash steps with the dark mist, and uh, we have worn down the. Um, and Navior on uh, ice right now. And Navior has the Amplify currently. And then going after the Kalis spawn area. They're going now for the Clash. And the Lightning in play. And Ilithia got it again. So they're back on track. And Abahusi going for the heal. Which is a good play. And there you go. Going after the final touches for the kill. But Olivia was not able to get it. And now they're going after Vin Boozled. And Vin Boozled was down in there. Bibonians. Um, wearing down the Lagos currently. Very early on in the game. And another lighting coming from Olivia. 
and Vivonis was down in that gameplay. And Zwider being in the middle, 5 life on the Lagos right now, they have to get it. Um, someone has to get it for Kalis. 4 on life, Ben Boozled in the middle, and they got it! Ben Boozled got it! 63.59, so it's anyone's gameplay right now with a minute still left in the ball game. There we go. Now the fight's becoming interesting. They have Abahuso cornered, literally cornered in that wall. And a little life on Abahusi. And they got Abahusi down. 69-65. Good teamwork there by Ben Boozled and Bibonians over, over that corner. Wow. Now it's a tie game. Six and, and they got an orb, so they got the upper hand now. So, wow, everyone's on the edge of their seats. Check that out. 73-73, another, it's another tie. It's another tie coming in and, wow, there's a clash in the middle. Check that out, now that we don't have any Lago, so 91-63 for Public Enemy. They're getting the kills currently. Look at that. They also have Zwider down. Yeah, Public Enemy got the game. They dominated that clash. You know, with, with, with Lagos being down very early, um, so it's, it's really all about uh, clashing in the middle. So, um, and you know, going bout for bout. And this is where your, your, your skills as a player um, what would really come into play um, and also uh, how you would collaborate with your your teammates as well um, and this time uh, the, the public enemy uh, collaboration did it on the, on the final uh, few seconds of the clash so wow but pretty exciting still pretty exciting but right uh, for 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 that game number two like I have to say it was a really good gameplay so let's go ahead and start because, um, you know, uh, Kalos was able to answer uh, the, the Ilithia, um, and Il Ilithia strategy for, for Public Enemy. So here we are. Going for game number three. So it's a 2-0 right now. So if Public Enemy wins this, they get to advance. Um, and uh, for Kalos, uh, they need to have a treat peak. Three feet for uh, for sealing the game. So Vin Boozled getting um, getting killed there uh, with a one one with Abahusi, um, and Elithia got the salvation. So still going for the orbs, and then also Navior. Um, Zwider got the heal over there for the points, um, and right now Zwider is in the middle. Was able to get away with that. That that was that was a good escape. So this time they're having. Uh, a mini clash just below the monument battle. Zwider being the tank in the middle. Now they have Vin Boozled on the side. Getting the lightning again for Lithia. So if this still continues, Lithia will be able to get all the, the orbs on the sides. So they still have to keep up with that. Um, with Lithia and going for the orbs. And Right, right. Now, see, you can see that Lithia is, is currently in the middle, trying to scout right now. See, going for the orbs. There we go. Look at that. Got the ice. And now going back in the gameplay. And that's how really their strategy works. And um, now that they're having the, the clash, um, Abahusi and Navior. And Lithia got the orb again. There we go. So that's how the gameplay works. It's it's like putting their uh, public enemy is going for a 2v3 while Elithia um, scouts for orbs along the way to give them the advantage that would help them out along the way. And I believe um, Kalis needs to um, to find a loophole in that certain strategy. So Zwider with hair hair strand of life, and they got they got the salvation. That was good. Good, good play by Bibonians. And Vin Buzel has um, an Amplify as well. So this one would turn out um, good for them. Now they're going for the Lagos with that kind of life. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, with that kind of advantage. So six life right now, five life for Lagos. Four down, 48-41. It's anyone's gameplay. There we go. Kayla's got it. Wow, check that out. Zwider. Oh, almost that earlier, but now look. He has the most points. With the lightning, going for Elithia, going for Abahusi. 
they got Abu Uzi down. Now they, they have to look for El Lithia, who's currently hiding around. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tell. Not gonna tell you where. Not gonna tell you where. But El Lithia is just right, just right there. It's just right there. They're trying to look for El Lithia currently. But wow. Wow, look at that. 86.49. Wow, Kalos. But this... Yeah. I told you, like, um, Kalos is a high, high, high gaining... It's a high gaining point team. So, uh, they really go for... for um, for objectives as well. So we got a lightning going on from Bibonians. Look at that. 9358. It's they Zwider needs to protect himself. Yes, there we go. Um, on Amplify right now. And Amplify gives you CP, so it also gives you defense. So that will be good for them. Zwider in the hiding. Good play right there. What a turn. What a turn. Yes, good play for Kalos. Wow. That was nice. That was really nice. Jay Kim is saying she is speechless. Yes, literally speech. Literally speechless. Yes, you are. Sean saying give Elithia the season MVP already. <laughs> oh yeah, why why don't we think about that having a season MVP, right? Um or let's let's have since there, there's we have we're almost done with the season. One what most arms <laughs> Yes, so why, why, don't, why, don't, why don't we go for, let's say, on our final semifinals match? That'll be a nice idea, having, you know, a finals MVP, right? Or, or the finals MVP. Yeah. Game number four. Public Enemy 2. Okay, let's one. And go ahead, Gaijin. I know you want to say this. <laughs> Round four. There you go. My god, this is exciting. I love it. Wow, wow. Yes. They got Abahusi down very early on. Um, wow, look at that. Uh, aggressive gameplay come from Kalis. They said like, hey, this, this is going to be our match. We got to put it in 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So Bibonians with an Amplify. Um, let's see how that one goes. Being very aggressive there. Look at that. So right now they got Navier down. Elithia got the Salvation. Also Zwider has the Salvation. Uh, Bahusi as well. We, we have three Salvations in the gameplay right now. What is that? Heal the, <laughs> heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Wow. <laughs> right, so it's almost that even still. And they're actually getting the points of um, coming from the orbs right now. Bibanyan's also getting a salvation. Wow, it, it's a salvation gameplay, so no one's dying. Um, so, so yeah, <laughs> Let, let's see how they, it's, it's all about protection of the points right now. And uh, right now they're doing their clashes currently. So Abahusi, uh, try, trying to get Abahusi currently. 2v1, let's see how this one goes. Everyone's down with life. Abahusi got the 2! Got the 2 on the 2v1, check that out! It's like, hey, I'm season 2 champion. And here's here's what I got. Here's what I have for you. Two v one. Here's what I have. Oh wow. Um, look at that gameplay. It's it's kind of like if you if you if let's say if you're watching let's let's say um, you know uh, an, an NBA sports. Um, it's kind of like a a, a dunk, you know, for for Abahusi right there, um, passing by two players, and getting the heal, and now going for Swider. And Swider was down with that. So what 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 um what skill Abasuhusi has? And Elithia also still uh, going for orb after after orb. They're already going for Lago 6433. Will public enemy seal a deal or will it be 6464 even right now? Kalos going for the last hit again. 6767. They are not they're not gonna back down. This is going to be a very good fight. 7 7167. Wow, Kalos. Salute. It ha they're now go they're now they're going for Abahusi. Good good play right there. West the most number of points. Down with life. Abahusi with a hair strand right now. 
they're going for Abahusi. They're trying to seal Zwider on Abahusi, and everyone else is. And Abahusi is down 58 92. We got 10, cents, 10 seconds left. They're on freeze right now. Bibonians is down, and Zwider as well. What an. What, what? It turned out just like that. Look at that. Inithia going for. And now you're going for the kill, and it is Inithia having the amplify. What? What happened there? That what? Look, check that out. A lot of people are saying that Freeze is um, underrated. No one needs Freeze. Who needs Freeze? But they got frozen. They got killed on the final few seconds. That that did it for Public Enemy. Look at the coordination there. Lithia going for that those for those final kills, going for the final points. Wow. Wow. Yes, Justin Dada is saying Ultra Instinct for Abahusi. Yes. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. I, I have to say that that was that was mind-blowing. That, that like the turn of events, like you you know that like let's say public enemy just really dominating the whole gameplay and then and then finally um Kalos got the steal over there, going for the kills afterwards, really being 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 very patient right there. But then, wow, the freeze moment just 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 froze us all all together. Not 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 only Kalos was frozen. I was I was frozen myself. I was, I was thinking like, hey, <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. It could have been. It could have been. Wow, quarterfinals, as as early as quarterfinals, and we are already this big in terms of our gameplays. So, but yeah, Kalos, a salute, a salute to Kalos, a salute. Wow, wow. Check that out. Um, good. And Vin Boozled saying, good game, well played, Public Enemy. Be being such a good sport right there. Wow. Congrats to both teams. Yes. Um, here we go. So now, now this time, next, next week, uh, again, um, Wednesday, 7 p.m., GMT plus 8, uh, same time, uh, July 1st, uh, Adaka Jakan would go against Public Enemy. It is going to be a very good gameplay. This is going to be uh, about for about. Um, it's going to be, you know, CP against CP, strategy versus strategy. So we are definitely looking forward to that kind of gameplay. So we are going to be on our last match, Caves Legion and Wardens. So we are inviting them in the room currently. So for uh, Caves Legion, we have MDXVI, our Raven. We have Beezer, our Titan, and we have Sissian, our Huntress. So with the Kids Legion, I like how their gameplay actually works. They are very much well-rounded, I have to say. Um, they do 2v1 ganks, they do 3v1 ganks, they, they, they're good with the 3v3 clashes, they go for the orbs, they go for the Monument of Battles, they go for Lagos, um, they protect themselves, they know how to hide, so it's an overall well-rounded gameplay um, when you uh, try to watch um, their, their game uh, during the elimination round. Um, and then also we have um, uh, Wardens, for, we have Faded Glory as a Huntress, uh, Hayat as a Paladin, and also Cherpia uh, coming in um, for them. So it, it really is... Um, uh, also as a paladin coming in for Cherpia. So with Wardens, they are a mobile ganking kind of team. So uh, they go from, from one spot to the other, ganking one player after the next. Um, that's uh, what they did before uh, in their matchup in the elimination round. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, so we're looking at Wardens maybe ganking um, uh, Chaos Legion 1 at a time. Um, so that's how this one will turn out, maybe. Um, if, if, if Wardens is able to, um, to, to get with their, their, their kind of play style or, or gameplay. Uh, but with the Case Legion being well-rounded and being able to adjust to different situations. So we'll see how this one will turn out for, for both of the teams. So right now, I'm really looking forward to um, how, how, how this will unfold for both the Chaos Legions and uh, Chaos Legion and Wardens. So there. Yeah. Hayad, server celebrity. Uh, yes. 
Sorcerer vs. Celebrity. <laughs> yes, yes. Looking for, yes, do we have <laughs> Server Celebrity Hayad? Check it out. <laughs> oh my god. And, 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 and right now, um, so um, let's see. Currently, um, we have, um, yes. Oh, oh, it's Cell Summer saying uh, Hayad Server Celebrity. Yes, yes, that, that's right. <laughs> wow. Yes, we, we have a lot of fans coming from Hayad. Yes. So, and also would like to um, see uh, how this, w <laughs> and also want to see how this one goes because uh, with Hayad um, and also uh, Cher Cherpia being, you know, the, the, the double paladin, it's so easy for them to gank. Now, that's why the, that's the reason why they're actually a mobile uh, ganking um, kind of strategy uh, because they have the two paladin combo and. And, and, and that's, that, that's uh, pretty, um, I have to say, uh, annoying and imba at the same time because uh, they're just all over you. Um, you, know, you won't be able to move. Um, if you have experienced a, a double paladin before, uh, even in your own uh, Romanus games, it, it's, it's hard to move around. Even, even if you have the skills, man, um, they're going to go after you wherever you are. Yeah. So there, um, so just waiting for uh, Chaos Legion to come in. So we have Beezer right now, MDXVI, everyone's ready. So let's go ahead. Game number one, Chaos Legion versus Wardens. <laughs> yes. I have a feeling that they will, you know, try to uh, sense out each other first. Um before they actually go on a clash. That's kind of like my prediction on the first few seconds. Yes, that's right, that's right. Mm-hmm, right. So right now, uh, apologies, we're having some technical difficulties. So just waiting. Yeah, so uh, again, um, in, in our rules, if someone gets disconnected, um, we can, um, ju ju while the game is loading, uh, we can wait for that player uh, before we initiate. So we're giving him a chance. Uh, a second instance of, let's say, a player getting disconnected um, so that team has to be disqualified, unfortunately. But if the the um, the disconnection was in the middle of a gameplay, we don't have a choice but to disqualify the the whole team coming from that side. So um, we are now back um, in the game. So no one got disconnected. That's that's a good sign. So yeah. So we we are looking good. So just waiting for. Uh, Beezer to get ready and we will start game number one. Okay, I see. So we can just wait for Beezer. Um, it's a good thing that this happened right before we actually started. So that means they still have a chance uh, to, uh, you know, to play. Uh, but if it, if it happened in the middle, then it will be an instant disqualification for Chaos Legion. So it's a good thing that this happened actually early um, in the game. There we go. Beezer is back, ready right away. So let's get it on. Let, let's do it again. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> we also have fans from Faded. Uh, Keanu Ben One Two, and oh, it's L Summer saying Faded White Devil, go Fady. And we also have Danuk One Two Two saying go Pink Raven. There you go. And I believe that pink raven is M MDXVI. Yes. The, the pretty pink raven. Right. They're going after Faded Glory. Knowing that uh, they have their, their, their paladins. Yes. 
Sision and uh, and Beezer have uh, Sision has the Amplify and Beezer has the Lightning right now. So yes, they're going after the Orb. And now, um, wow, uh, they they got a play. They faded Glory down, and also Hayad with a little bit of life left. They also got Hayad Cherpia now alone, and they are going to be one. All right, yeah. So that was that was a. Uh, Unfortunate for for Wardens right there, you know, having the orbs coming in from KS Legion. So 45-22, um, KS Legion has the upper hand, uh, but this time they are going for the Monument of Battle. You see, uh, this is how well-rounded um, the KS Legion kid could be. Um, they are taking each and every single opportunity that they can, so every single second is not wasted. So right now, um, Pedagori coming back up and trying to get more da damage in there. For, for Wardens, and they are doing the, the good job right there. Cher Cherpia um, going for um, the, the kill still, even at a low life. And I like the gameplay and aggressiveness of that. So Faded Glory also um, being in the background right now, um, getting the orbs right there, trying to steal that away, and getting 11 points currently, and still uh, trying to go orb after orb while uh, Hayad and Cherpia going after the players and the kills. So, right now, um, it's still anyone's gameplay, of course. So, Hayad is down currently in the middle, uh, uh, in the Lagos area, and Faded Glory is still going for orb after orb. And right now, um, going for Beezer currently, with an Amplify, Beezer was able to get it. Now, Faded Glory has to get away from that. Has to run away from an Amplify, which is a good gameplay. Now Sision has the Salvation. Um, and also Faded Glory going for the Salvation as well. MDX is saved and also everyone is saved actually. Even Hayata Cherpia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, saved by the bell for, for both. For, saved by the Doctor. And basically that those are for both teams. And right now, Faded Glory has the Lightning. Let's see if this one comes in. There you go, Beezer and Faded Glory coming from the different teams. Both have lightnings. And, and Faded Glory is left now alone with Sizion and Beezer and even the Lagos um, trying to put some damage in there, but Faded Glory was not able to, um, to survive that clash over there. So Sizion and Beezer both have lightning. So it's, it's really um, them. Lightning Fiesta, yes. It, it, it's like it's like a, a stormy season right now, you know? <laughs> it's lighting everywhere. And Cherpia was down um, in the bush um, on that side. And there we go. It was KS Legion, 93-20, dominating that gameplay, going for orb after orb. And you, you, can't, you can't even notice that they're actually going after orbs. It's just that it's spawning on their side, and it's just within arm's reach going for it and then going for the kill thereafter so um this yes i have to say yes it's the rng it's the rng coming into play for 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 case legion and this time hopefully um for for wardens um it's going to be um spawning for on their side as well um going for the orbs and you know trying to get it get it away from 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 case legion because they're they're actually getting it um you know, um, one after the other, consecutively, seriously. So now everyone's ready. So we're about to start. Gaij, it's your cue. Fight! <laughs> Service celebrity, hi, Ad. Here we go. Check that out. Um, so Case Legion going forward um, to the spawn area of of um, Wardens and um, Hayad and Acherpia protecting uh, Faded Glory, and then Faded Glory just um, right now in the hiding. So there you go. And uh, now going after Beezer. Amplification coming in from Beezer again, trying to steal that away from from Faded Glory. Now Faded Glory, ha right, hunting down everyone. Now going after Faded Glory. Now Cherpia and Hayat um, currently just respawned. 
going after Sizion. And now Hayad is being 2v1 by MDXBI and Beezer at the same time. So it's kind of like we have a 1-on-1 and, one and now we have Lightning on the side for Cherpia. And Cherpia got it and also uh, Sizion has his own Lightning as well. So Cherpia going for some kills, going for MDXVI, running after MDXVI. Let's see how this one goes. And MDXVI got it. The 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 pink the pink raven. Now with MDXVI with a hair strand of life. Now looking for the heal. And they're giving it to MDXVI. Now with Hayat with Amplify. He knows Sayad has the upper hand, so he is going for the clash. He's going player after player. They're they're going. Beezer was running away from it. MDXVI is down with that. Now they're going for the kill. For Sizion. Sizion with low life. Beezer with low life. So they would have the upper hand here. Hayat going for the lightning. There we go. Hayat got it. Now going for some damage. Hayat going for. Going for the player. It's a matter of distance. Hayat got the pros. I mean the freeze. We're freezing the enemy. Enemy getting it all frozen. I'm getting tongue twisted. <laughs> this is getting exciting for me. And Beezer. There. Beezer was able to secure his points. Getting the salvation. Almost got Beezer there. So Beezer was really um, lucky enough, very lucky, for almost a minute. He was protecting him, his points, protecting himself. And now, it's a Lagos game. Only Faded Glory is alive. They're all down. And this time, Sizion was able to defeat the Lagos, able to defeat um, the players. And Sizion with 40 points now and 38 on Beezer. So we still have... We still have... Um, we still have the gameplay for Wardens if they're able to get Sizion and Beezer down. But it's a Mayhem Clash in the middle. Sizion being smart, being on the side. Like, uh, you know, uh, shooting the, his arrows in the bush. But Hayas going after Sizion with a little bit of light left. But Hayat was down there. And even Faded Glory, they were fighting all the way to the finish. I like the gameplay. I seriously like how they are. Yes. They even after like the the final few seconds. Man. They're 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 all on their um they're all on their toes. Um Yes. Yeah, I was like uh, earlier I was like I was so surprised how Sisyon even got a lightning even there like how are you able to get a lightning? It's like did it <laughs> Did right, it's like it's like it's spawning right in front of their noses. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully, um, this time, you know, um, the 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 RNG of the the orbs will be more scattered, you know, uh, along the way. So, but still, wow, it's still a good gameplay, even though um, even even though KS Legion is being lucky with uh, the orbs. Right? So let's go ahead and start the gameplay for game number three. So one more win, Chaos Legion advances, and for pub, uh, for for wardens, they need to get uh, three wins. Yes, Justin Dorado saying, "Lol, Beezer, RNG God." Yes, not even in Ramones, but but also in in the overall game itself. There you go. We got game number three along the way. And check that out. We got an early clash. Cherpia's down with that one. And we got Faded Glory and uh, Hayad um, currently uh, running for it, which is a good which is a good gameplay. And now Sizion got, got a lightning again very early on. And now they're going after Hayad. And Hayad was down with that 3v1 gank. Um, and right now they're Looking for players. Bees are going for the orbs currently. And also MDXVI getting the heal um, orbs. Not that they need it, but it's all for the points. Check that out. Faded Glory. And Beezer 
and MDXBI going for Faded Glory and Hayad on the side as well. Now Cherpia is down with that uh, gank as, um, at the same time. And now it's Hayad versus Beezer uh, on the Battle of Monument. And MDXVI and Sizion ganking on Faded Glory. Now Sizion got, got an ice just like that. And Sizion is trying, even though he's trying to run away. Now Hayad is going after Sizion. And Sizion still getting, getting the orb, getting the ice over there. But uh, yep, so Hayad was down. They got the kill. And Sidion still alive with that. And Faded Glory going after the kill. E for MDX Bay, yes, they got it. And Cherpia got the heal over there. And uh, Beezer with an ice. Now it's a Faded Glory versus um, Beezer. 1v1. Faded Glory was able to get away from that. Hayad has the salvation. And Hayad doing it for Faded Glory just in time. Good play by Hayad right there. And right now, they're currently on ice. Cherpia getting tortured um, by that um, ice moment. And Cherpia, Hayad, and Faded Glory unfortunately wiped out uh, because of that ice. Just like I said earlier, who said that ice is not important? Right? Who said. Now they're going after on the spawn area, but Beezer tried to back out away from it, knowing that there is an invulnerability stage. Tried to hide first, and now Beezer is down with life. Beezer got down with that because Hayad was able to get the lightning. That was a very lucky gameplay for her, Hayad, and good strategy right there. And now Hayad is going after Sizion, but Sizion is not letting Hayad to go after near me. So Sizion got that down for Hayad in a single combo. Now they're going after Lagos. Just like that, Lagos, Cherpia got it. So it's 79.59, 68.70, check that out. 52.86, Cherpia, look at that. After the Lagos, going for the kills. Now they have a lightning for Cherpia again. Continuing, continuing the, the streak for Cherpia. 98.52, five seconds left. They have to take Cherpia down or else this is... 2-1 right now. Wardens. Wow. Wow. Nice match right there. Love it. Love it. Yes. A backup plan. Nice turnaround. Yes. Nice turnaround for Wardens. Jay Kimmy saying. Shit. Yeah. That is true. That is true. So we are up. Let's go. Let's get ready. White. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Everyone's excited. There you go. And Bibonya is saying, um, uh, "You, uh, you guys are OP to public enemy. Well, we thought you're gonna go easy on us, but still, good game, well played. Yes." And good game well played for Kalis. Still, I have to say. And Vin Boozled of Kalis say, saying VK number one. Yes, it's the same to Elithia. VK number one. Chatting on the... <laughs> and also, I have to say, Sision uh, saying that uh, I'm sweating, it hasn't started. <laughs> Before they actually come into the gameplay. Okay, so right now, Cherpia and Hayad uh, being down with that, that clash. So 36-28 up for Kalis Legion. Fade Glory with a little bit of light, life left and uh, Fade Glory summoning that heal, that, the tree of heal. But but surprise, here we go, Beezer is in hiding. What, what, what kind of strategy is that? You hide so that um, anyone who's, who's hiding will see that, you, that, you're, that you're actually there waiting for them. But Fade Glory was able to get away from that, but MDXVI. Salvation Org coming from Beezer. Uh, again, um, I'm telling you, um, Chaos Legion has this well-rounded gameplay, uh, which um, you you cannot uh, take for granted um, because right now uh, it's in their advantage. And being well-rounded, you won't be able to tell what kind of strategy that they have because there's not one single one. They basically adjust and be flexible according to what is going on, and that's basically how uh, Chaos Legion is. Um, uh, dominating on the first early stages of the, of the game. Now Hayad, um, a little bit low of life, 
and uh, trying to at least go for MDX VI right now. 2v1 got the heal over there, and Hayat has the salvation. Look at that nice gameplay from Hayat. And Cherpy is down, but Hayat Precision got lightning. So now they're trying to go for Hayat, being with the, with the most number of uh, with with the nine points right now. And Hayat was able to do some sidesteps um, on on the on the gameplay right there. So I'm getting a page from from our guildmates right now. Yes, it says saying paging Maso Chillstorm. <laughs> Show, show showing up in the Romanis uh, tournament right now. Okay. Lagos is the They're la going for Lagos. Let's see how this one goes out. One life... Oh. Chaos Legion got it with 30 seconds left. They have to go for Beezer with 63 points. That would be... Yes, Incision got a Salvation. And now they're going after Cherpia. They're trying to seal the deal. And... Cherpy was locked down, being on a 3v1. We have 10 seconds left. They have to go for the kills. But this time, they're all in this together. Beezer, Sissy, and MDXV are all in one spot, protecting their points all in one uh, spot right now. So, yep, this one, they got the win. 141, 13 points. So, it was an, it, it is an advance for. Chaos Legion, but wow, it was really a good display of gameplay currently. So it is uh, a nice ball game for for everyone. Yes, that's right. That's right. So wow, currently um, we would like you. Uh, we would like to show you um, how it looks like right now with our bracket. So currently, we have, um, and it was really a good display for, for everyone, really. Uh, Chaos Legion would be up against Lost Command, um, having Gambit being disqualified, so Lost Command is an auto-advance. Um, we're actually looking forward um, for a Gambit Lost Command uh, gameplay. However, unfortunately, um, Lost Command has to do an auto-advance. But uh, next week, um, Wednesday... Uh, 7 p.m. GMT plus 8, uh, July 1st. It's going to be Chaos Legion versus Lost Command. And then Public Enemy versus Adaka Ajakan. So, and then it's going to be a semifinals finals match. So, whoever wins uh, will be the, the final, will be on the finals match. It's, it will be best of seven for, uh, for all of the games, whether it's a semis, semifinals or the finals match. And also, um, I would like to, um, uh, to also inform you that uh, we will have a lot of surprises coming on next week. So, yes. <laughs> so it was really a good gameplay um, for, uh, coming from all the teams. Uh, you know, coming from, from all of the, the six teams that, that we, we, we saw earlier today. All the, the three games. Wow, it was really fantastic. I almost lost my voice there for, for being too excited. Um, with, with all of the with, with all with all the, the turn of the events right there. So, uh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yes, yes. So well. Uh, Interesting, interesting match. Interesting match, and it also, it also looks, it, it also looks like you know, for hack serve it, 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 it looks like a castle siege. You know, <laughs> these are your, your castle siege players. So it's going to be an interesting fight. Oh, wow, um, look, look at the caliber of, of all of the of all of the players inside those guilds. So wow, wow, um, it's it's all power. It's all gameplay. Everyone's a pro, and um, yeah, and it's still, of course, congratulations to all who participated. Um, you know, seeing uh, Warden's play, seeing Kalis and Adaka Jakan play for today. Wow. Um, really, uh, and also Illuminate, uh, really, um, really hats off 
to to how you you play today. Um, it was just simply amazing. And and of course, uh, we would like to thank all of the teams for being such a good sport. And of course, congratulate our four advancing te- advancing teams for our semifinals finals match this coming first of July Wednesday uh, to be crowned as the first champions of the first. Hexa Guild versus Guild Romanus Tournament, same time at 7 p.m. GMT plus 8. So we will see you all next week here in twitch.tv slash gaijinzan with the letter Z. Uh, later, you can watch the replay and streams by going to YouTube and search Bullet Chocolate or Chill Storm. Uh, just have Chill Storm one word, Bullet Chocolate uh, two words, uh, just by going to YouTube or on J. Kim's Facebook stream at facebook.com slash jkimmy29. And again, my name is Joe Storm. And we have Jake Kimmy in the background as our organizer currently. Uh, lost the voice today, but we'll come back next week, of course, definitely. Uh, once the voice is back, uh, she'll be coming in as my co-host for the semifinals finals match. Thank you again to Chaos Legion and Hexa Sanctuary for making this possible. And of course, to all of our viewers in Twitch, Hexa Sanctuary Discord, and to everyone watching the replays on YouTube, you are the ones that are keeping us going. Definitely appreciate it. And by the way, um, I have a surprise. We will have a viewers match on our semifinals finals round. So all the vi- so all the viewers in Twitch, all the viewers in the Hexa Sanctuary Discord, uh, please watch out for it. So basically, we will randomly choose uh, IGNs that are chatting in Discord, um, and you will be part of the intermission on the semifinals finals match. And of course, we would also like to announce that there is currently a BDM Romanus Tournament Discord server where you can interact and play with the official BDM champions all across North America, Europe, and Asia. Links will be in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. But for now, we will peace out. (laughs) See you next week, guys.